My name is uh, Kate or Catherine Rendell. Um, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Family Medicine and Community Health. I have a secondary in EPI, and I'm also the director of cancer implementation research at PICE at LDI. I became interested in implementation science um, in part because I have a transdisciplinary background. I started as an anthropologist, really think about big picture, holistic um, understanding of certain phenomenon. And then I went into epidemiology, which is often the sort of targeted understanding about exposures and outcomes. And in between that, um, both really deal with context in different ways. And I found the field of implementation science as a postdoc that really sort of in anthropology context is understanding the holistic experience. Epidemiology is understanding how those confounders or contextual factors might get in the way or shape the relationship between exposures and outcomes. And implementation science context is central. You use it as something in which you, it really facilitates or hinders whatever you're trying to do. And so I found it as sort of a natural home where I could bring together my disciplinary perspectives. I think about implementation science in the context of cancer care delivery all the way from um, beginning with screening and early detection through treatment and survivorship. And at each of those stages, of course, there's important evidence based practices that need to be uh, implemented. They need to be implemented in ways that are equitable and sustainable. I do my work in the United States, um, largely in lung cancer screening and cervical cancer uh, screening, and then in the global setting, low and middle income countries such as Botswana. In each of those contexts, the determinants are different, but the sort of challenges is identifying these strategies that work, they work well and effective, they work equitably, and then they can be sustained. And then sort of resources and beliefs, uh, systems, structures, uh, individual behaviors and access to care, social determinants of care as well all come to bear on whether or not these strategies work and whether or not people receive really the best care that they can get.